the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 231 1 Chronicles 27-29 As much as the one out blueprint of the temple, David formed the whole cabinet for the next generation and prepared in detail the materials for building the temple. First point, although the outline of David's reign was a monarchy, David focused on a kingdom of priests. The system implemented during David's monarchy was as follows. The first was a central army system. According to the record in 2 Samuel, the army during David's time numbered 1,300,000, and according to the record in Chronicles, the army numbered 1,570,000. But in reality, there were monthly soldiers of 24,000, which added up to 288,000 per year. This meant that the people of Israel spent a month in the army per year and then focused on their individual jobs for the remaining 11 months. The second was that it was organized according to the tribe. Israel was thus organized into 12 parts according to the 12 tribes. For the Levites, two leaders were appointed to represent them, and this was due to their roles as priests. The third was organization of the national funds by the royal palace. David made sure that both the temple and the palace ran smoothly. David paid a great deal of attention to his own works, such as looking after the grounds of the palace, vineyard, fig trees, olive trees, and livestock, more so than focusing on the tax from the people. As such, during David's reign, the country had a stable organizational system, with the country's territory fixed and secure. It is not an exaggeration to say that David's time was the most stable times during the history of the Israel monarchy. The most important point was that David's foundation was on a kingdom of priests. It was indeed a time of God's abundant blessing. Second point, David left a will for the leaders of Israel. During the time of his death, David gathered the people of Israel and left his way. David also explained the reason as to why he was unable to build the temple himself. At an old age, David stood up before the people of Israel and addressed them as his brothers, his people, and his sons. David also publicly announced that his son Solomon would take over his line. David proclaimed that the reason he became king and the reason his son Solomon was to come after him was because God had appointed them. David furthermore explained that it was God's will, that David's descendants carried under monarchy. Lastly, David asked the people to keep God's laws and he also blessed them. In 1 Chronicles 28, David repeated the word chosen six times. This was David emphasizing that God had chosen Solomon to become king. Thus, Solomon was to look over the kingdom and also the temple. Later on, Solomon prayed to God for wisdom in order to govern over the people, and this was in reference to keeping his father's will. Third point. David left a will to Solomon and also passed down God's design of the temple. After leaving a will to the people of Israel, David then gave his will to Solomon. 
the first thing he said to his son was to keep God's laws and also to build the temple. David was living his life's wish as a will to Solomon. All throughout David's life, he confessed that God was his refuge and shelter, and that he wished to glorify God. The next thing David did was to pass on God's design of the temple to Solomon. God gave the design of the temple to David, and David was only permitted to prepare for the construction. Now it was Solomon's job to go forth and build the temple. As God gave Moses the design of the ark and tabernacle, God also gave the design of the temple to David. David passed this on to Solomon and once again explained all the logistics and practical issues for the temple. David stressed that Solomon's law expanded beyond the construction of the temple. David also explained how Solomon could receive help and support in the process of building the temple. As such, David gave Solomon all the information and the courage in order to start building the temple. The priests and the Levites, as well as the skilled technicians, were to help out, and the people would support Solomon all throughout. Fourth point. David studied God's design of the temple thoroughly and prepared all that he could. The content of what David prepared for the temple can be found in 1 Chronicles 29 verses 2 to 5. David prepared gold, silver, bronze, iron, wood, jewelry, as well as the 3,000 pieces of gold and 7,000 pieces of pure silver. When David put so much towards the temple, the people also started to give their share. The Israelites and the leaders also put a great deal of care and effort into the temple preparations. David was most pleased by this and offered thanks to God. David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly, saying, Praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. As such, David did his best to prepare as thoroughly as he could for the temple with offerings. Fifth point, Chronicles records that David's actions were recorded by the prophets Samuel, Gad, and Nathan. Solomon now took over his father David as the next king. When David declared Solomon as the next king, the people of Israel bowed down to God and to Solomon. A burnt offering and fellowship offering was made following this. Solomon and the high priest was both appointed together. The monarchy was passed on from David to Solomon very smoothly. All went well and David died. David's actions were recorded by Samuel, Gad, and Nathan. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how 
to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this habit.